for worst? Hands down, no question, Seraphine. I do. As, as a musician myself, I am so tilted by her voice line. Why are you tilted by I her voice never, line? I would never say those things. What's up, everybody? It's Chrissy Costanza, and we are back with more Guest House. Today, we're going to be doing some Best and Worst League of Legends edition with Daniel Digon Gonzalez. Digon, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this to give my opinions on the thing that I know most. It's League of Legends, even though it's season 11 and a lot of weird changes. All right, first <laughs> question. The worst Dragon Soul. Worst Dragon Soul uh, Mountain. It's it's pretty static. It's like, here's my shield. Blah, I'm Malphite. How much do people love Malphite? Not that True. much. All right. <laughs> Ready? Voice lines. Champion voice lines. Ah. Best and worst. I have some strong feelings here. Yes. Okay. Uh, voice lines for me, uh, I would say, oh, they, they uh, ones where I would say old Graves lines. Old Graves had uh, dead man walking. It was that kind of a thing there for uh, Graves where it worked great. I would say it's the best, along with anything that Lulu, Nunu, Amumu, or Annie used to say, because that voice actress yes. is Christina Melizia. She's great. What do you think? Yes. Uh, I agree. I love the Annie voice lines. I love the Nunu voice lines. I think they're super fun. I have to say, for worst, hands down, no question, Seraphine. I do. As, as a musician myself, I am so tilted by her voice lines. Why are you tilted by I her voice never, lines? I would never say those things. Like, I hope I don't forget the words. Like, <laughs> no. Like, no one acts like that. Really? You and never get like, nervous? And, and it's weird to me that it's taking place in Summoner's Rift, I guess. Like, it's like, wh what do you mean? Like, why, why is she about to? I know she's a pop star, but still. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Also that and uh, and Lux. Lux is voice oh, lines. That's I think the it's one. Just, it's a little Little Spam the laugh, and it's uh, that's <laughs> that's it. It's pretty tilting. <laughs> All right, next one is Annie skins, best and worst. Uh, Annie skins for me, the best one is the inverse, right, where she's wearing a little. Oh, little reverse Annie! Reverse yes. Annie. Yes, that is that is my favorite Annie skin. Actually, we agree. What? That. Reverse Annie's amazing. Reverse. So it doesn't have the really cool animations that like Super Galaxy or Hextech yep, yep. or even like Goth or Frostfire have. Yep. But it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. All right, and worst Annie skin? Uh, uh, Goth Annie is a little too scary for me. Like, I don't what? like scary things. Goth Annie just feels like she has ulterior motives to burn you, you know? Like, of course she does. Right? Everything else, like, lures you in to, you know, get tibbered upon. That one's like, I know what I'm about to deal with that girl. She likes to play with fire and not the good kind of, like, playing with fire. The ones where you're actually going to get hurt. I don't like prom queen and Annie in Wonderland. They just, they're not, they're just nothing. She's just in a different outfit. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not a skin. It's a cool prom outfit. That's but, but that's the thing with prom queen though. I'll defend that one a little bit. That's something that everyone has in, that's ever gone to school that has had like a homecoming or, or, or prom court can relate to. It's like, hey, I know that person. <laughs> We never had prom queen in my life. No school. way! Right. No I way! Know. Other, it wouldn't have been a fair competition. Yeah, you would have right. won. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is champion ultimate, best and worst. Uh, best champion ultimate. Uh, I like the set it and forget it of Anivia. You press R and it does its thing. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. And then worst? Uh, worst is uh uh. What is one that is pretty useless? If you are Silas and you steal an ulti and you're like, this is dumb. Zoe, Zoe's ult is like, bounce? That's it. <laughs> bounce? <laughs> That's all it is, it's so stupid. Bounce, bounce, all bounce. right. Caitlyn skin. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Caitlyn skin, my favorite one. Sheriff Caitlyn, the officer, the law of Piltover uh, with their cowboy boots and her cowboy hat and her cowboy gun. I like it. When you're and when what's your worst uh, Caitlyn skin? Worst is uh I think it's I forgot what it's called. Is it Apex Predator Caitlyn? But it's like one of the hunter Caitlyns that like has like some red and some stuff. It's an expensive skin. I think it's overrated. Like, uh, I, I just think that you either go with the more classic types of skins that you like the splash art. You have even Officer Caitlyn's there that has a little bit more fun or the Pulse Fire Caitlyn, which is super fun. But that one was supposed to be a mix in between. Like, I think a classic one and a very expensive one that has all the glitz and glam, the GFX. And I, right. I just don't like it. It, it, it. I have enough red stuff already. I'll just play Varus. Fair enough. All right. 
What about League Cinematics, best and worst? Uh, best League Cinematic was uh, the big one that came out. Well, I guess it depends. Now I'm flip-flopping in my head. If we count, like, worlds, does the LOL okay. Esports, like, intro of 2013 where they had like the the animations of all the the players turning into their characters that was pretty cool and super hyped to be like dang that's what pro play should look like it like it's not medios it's medios playing a zack that was awesome we're like yeah. not mad life mad life was thrash like the, or blitz it was really cool i i mean that's fair and what about worse uh, any ones that I think the most recent one came out with all the Yordles and it spent way too much time on Teemo. So anything that has in way too much Teemo, get them out. That, I love that. All right, ready? Champion rework. I love this one. Best in work. Oh my gosh. I'm a bot laner. I had to yeah. learn top lane as my secondary role. Every single top laner I've learned has gotten reworked, and only one of them do I not play anymore. So Maokai got reworked, Kennen got reworked, Kale got reworked, Dr. Mundo got reworked, but the one that I won't play anymore because it's too freaking hard is Rise. Rise was so fun to learn how to like, again, very much like LeBlanc, like kind of like a uh, um, combo, figure out what's the best combos here in the right situations. And now they remove that. His ulti doesn't do extra damage. It like teleports around the map. Like, forget it. I don't want to learn Rise anymore. That was lame. As as simple as this was, it wasn't necessarily a rework, but just a little bit of a kit change. When they made Annie's E castable onto other <laughs> champions, on ally champions, that just made me so happy. Why? And, and that's more about the fact that I just love Annie. Because it's just like, you know, mid laners are known for being these kind of selfish, bursty champions yeah. that run in, dump all their damage on one champion, get the kill, and kind of back out and let everyone else die. That's what Annie and does. now at least I can be like, here, here's some shield <laughs> and a little bit of speed. Hey, sorry, like, I helping. stole your uh, 900 gold shutdown, but here's a shield. You didn't die. But here's a little, a little, a little speed. I love that. I lo I, I'm a team player. What can I say? All right, all right. Next, best and worst play that you have made. Ah, uh, man, I think it was here uh, in the studio when we're when I was playing with High. We were playing Locked In, and as much as I've been around pro players, I rarely get to play with them because they're just so much better than me. And I can imagine it's probably a waste of time for them to play ranked with me or play at all with me. But getting high to to settle down, play with me, support me in the bot lane. And then I think I got a 1v2 gen out, a gin outplay kind of a play. And I popped off. It was it was uh, really fun to show everyone like, hey, I, I still got it. I know what I'm doing. I can't just be yelling at people. Chrissy, what about you? I, my first pentakill was my, 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 Your best, first my first pentakill. and only, my first and only, um, it was on Master Yi, which, you know, I, I think calls into some question uh, the validity yeah. of it being a pentakill, but when you don't have any others, yeah, we'll take, you those. take yeah. those, you know, press you, the Q, uh, pop the R, we uh, what, yeah. what, what, were you spamming I, the buttons so the, or were you just auto attack? Well, the funny thing is, is that I didn't expect to be getting a pentakill in that moment. It, it didn't seem like it was a pentakill moment. I just blacked out and was like, Q, 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 Q. Q. And, uh, and then it was like, pentakill. And I was like. What did you, did you feel a rush? What did it and, feel like? And, well, it did feel a rush. Actually, I had gotten four kills. And then the other guy was like, nowhere close. And my team was like, come on, let's end the game. Let's Baron, let's end the game. And I was like tunnel vision on running, using my R and getting as fast as I could to that last player to get the Penta. <laughs> and then they were like, where are you going? And I'm like, nowhere, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, they're like, why isn't our jungler coming to bear? And I'm like, don't worry about it. And then it was like, I have to kill. And I was like, it's the best day of my life. All right, last one, best and worst worlds competition. Oh, okay. Uh, I think best worlds for me, was back in, I think in 2014. 2014 was the uh, Worlds in Korea where Samsung Galaxy uh, won and beat, um, uh, who did they beat? A Starhorn Royal Club. And to me, that was so special because that was when uh, Imagine Dragons came and, and performed at in Korea in the stadium. And it was just such a epic moment of like, hey, look, the world is watching. The world is stopping to watch yeah. Worlds for League. And then obviously it was uh, built upon with other amazing, fantastic, world-shaking, best performances ever. But that was the first one and really kind of took it by storm, I think. Oh, 100%. And what about the worst? Oh, worst one? Oh. Maybe, 
I guess the experience, the toughest experience was probably last year's. Last year's was tough yeah, because no audience made it a little harder. And I just feel like no audience changed a lot of the dynamic of it. The players were all playing in one location. It was all in Shanghai, again, for safety. Right. So that was less of the fault of Worlds and the production of it, more of like 2020. It sucked. Yeah, 2020 kind of danged us there. I'm gonna like be selfish for a second and say my favorite worlds, my best worlds was 2017 because that was the first one oh, I yeah? was at and I got to I, perform I was gonna guess, there. Is it I got to perform Did there you? and I had a really good time. <laughs> I was really excited. That was it was it was a really fun time. What can I say? All right, that was best and worst League of Legends edition with Daniel D. Gun Gonzalez. What do you think? What are your responses? What's your league best and worst? And what questions did we not answer? Let us know. See you guys next time in the guest house. Bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any guest house content. We have a ton of stuff coming for you guys in 2021. See you next time.